What's up guys? Chaos here. Bring you guys another video today. I'm going to bring you guys a really, really important video, I think, especially if you guys are grinding last chance qualifier or if you guys play a lot of weekend league, man. I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop Wham. But first and foremost, man, I just wanted to make sure uh, to tell you guys this is my last video with this camera. I just upgraded to a super nice face cam, so I know this face is going to just get a little bit less pixely and a little bit better looking. I know. Exciting. But seriously, guys, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check my description for my ebooks. Uh, they're going to be getting updated in about a week. It's on trips tight ends offense, very, very extensive, as well as 3 3 5 on defense and Big Nickel over G on defense. Very, very good ebooks, very much worth the price. If you talk to anyone who's bought it, I'm sure that they would agree. So make sure you check that out. And also, man, you guys have been killing it with the like button, man. Please, please, I'm begging you guys to keep hitting the like button for me. It's really helpful for me. It helps more people get the information I'm trying to give them and help them get better at the game. So if we can get like 200 likes on this video, I'll give you guys another extensive tip to help you guys get better at the game. But let's jump into this video and I'm going to show you guys how to stop H-back wham. Okay guys, man, let's jump into this video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop H-back wham. I'm using Nickel 335, which is my defense right now. Um, I know it's not a part of my ebook, but I have tons of videos on it on YouTube. I will be doing an update very soon on that. Um, so stay tuned for that about how I'm running it every single time. But for now, I'm just going to show you guys how to stop wham from it. Um, if you guys haven't already, if you guys don't follow me on Twitch or didn't happen to see my game uh, a couple nights ago, I played a guy running Wham and the dude literally passed one time and it turned into a crazy close game. Like, I think I won in overtime. Um, but it was a lot closer than it needed to be because I just couldn't stop Wham. And obviously, he shouldn't stop running it considering the fact I could not stop it. So, the thing about H back Wham is you can run it through the middle, you can cut it to the right. You can cut it to the left. You can cut it so many different ways as well as running it up the middle the normal way. So you have to kind of worry about all that gap uh, gap integrity and make sure that you're able to lock down every single part of the wham. So maybe you can stop up the middle, but they can just bounce it outside. So I was really working with it all morning, just trying to figure out the best way to really do it. And so the way that I like to do it is I just press. I crash out. Now I'm not going to move the safety down. If I do, I'm just going to move him like a step, right? And I'm going to man him up on square like that. I'll move this one down, man him up on circle, man him on the tight end, and then I'm going to blitz this guy. Okay? Now, something you can do if you want that outside cloud on the left, on this side, uh, ward. I could blitz him if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because you really don't need to. And then what you're going to do with this guy is you're going to try to shoot the gap. Now, you're going to shoot the gap maybe 7 to 8 out of 10 times. That's about the consistency I was getting with it. Part of the reason why you can't do it as much in practice mode is pre-snap I want to be able to move like this just making sure I'm ready to shoot the gap as soon as it so you see I'm messing around with my toggle stick you can't do that in practice mode or they're never hike they're never gonna hike it so that's part of it as well as the fact that the blocking is just weird sometimes but sometimes your end will end up coming through uh, right here if uh, if you don't get through and then your safety's back here which is why you don't move them down is like the backside integrity and he's gonna help you out as well so I'm just gonna run it a bunch of times and show you guys that you guys can do this pretty consistently you want to stand right behind your end like this And I missed my gap a little bit, but as you can see, if he doesn't cut it to the left, it's going to be blown up. The only way that they, I'm going to go into the replay real quick. The only thing that they can possibly do is cut this thing to the left outside. That's the only, like, out here. You see this is where the space is. But this safety, since you don't move him forward, is going to play. If he runs to the right, he's going to move over here. But if he runs left, he's going to play out here. And hopefully the computer does it at some point. Um, if they don't, I'll grab the controller and I'll do it for, like, for him. And show you guys that this guy will run out here and make the play for you. Um, as you can see, I didn't get through here. Um, but there's nowhere for him to go. So this safety shooting this gap. And then the guy, and then my guy eventually got through. Like there's just nowhere for him to go. This nickel comes around. Because in cover two, the cloud flats are part of the run fit. So they're not going to run away from the run. They're going to come down and play it. As you can see, this guy's getting blocked as well. So that's the best part about cover two. Since I'm manning up the safeties, every single player is going to be in the in the run fit. I'm going to try to shoot this gap perfectly for you guys this time. There we go. And I'm through. And you see I hit him in the backfield. Now, there was nothing he could possibly do right there. He couldn't have cut anywhere. And I'll jump into the replay and show you guys that. Um, if you're able to shoot it perfectly like that, which is what I'm able to do some of the, like a good amount of the time. Like, obviously there's nothing they can do. Like, that's blown up. He can't cut, he can't go anywhere, right? 
can't cut left, can't cut right. I literally hit him as soon as he gets the ball. Now, like I said, it's not always going to be that perfect for you, but when it is, like that's that's the best part. But since you have the other backside adjustments, even if you miss the gap, like you're not going to get crushed on it. As you can see, I got messed up there, but Barry is making the play. So do it again here. Yeah, I'm just going to run it a bunch of times. You guys are going to see they're not really going to have much success with it. And you see, that was perfect. I'm glad they cut back left. Now, so I missed the gap, right? I'm not doing great with my timing. I was doing better when I was practicing. Maybe I'm a little nervous. Who knows? But he cut left here, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So th this is where the best gap is against this defense. But since you're not moving this guy into the gap, he's going to play contain for you. You just click on, you make the tackle. Don't let him spin you. Don't let him juke you. Just make the tackle. Plain and simple. But the best part about this defense is, oh my gosh. The, uh, the shooting gap ability. I'm just not showing a good job of it right now, unfortunately. So we're gonna try to pick that up. And got blocked again. I don't know why I'm not getting through right now. I'm being completely honest with you guys. I was getting through seven, eight, eight out of 10 times um, when I was practicing. So, oh, I don't wanna bring him down. Um, right here. There we go, and I'm through. So that's, I mean, obviously, obviously that's what you want. That's the result that you want to get most of the time. Um, just move him down just a step. You don't want to move him as far as the other guy, if you move him at all. Um, so obviously, this shooting the gap, like I said, that's what you want to do uh, to be successful. And now, now I'm getting it. Um, I guess I was just nervous, you know. Trying to show out for the viewers, you know what I mean? You guys want, want you guys to think I'm great, all that. Yeah, yeah, you guys get it. Okay, sorry guys, I had to cut real quick. Um, but obviously, like I was saying the whole time, the best part about this defense obviously is the, the gap shooting. That's what you want to be able to do the majority of the time. Um, and uh, if you're able to do that, like you're gonna be you're gonna be set. Um, I'm not gonna make you guys watch this over and over. I'm not gonna drown on and on. You guys clearly see the defense works. Um, I do want to. Um, I actually am gonna cut one more time. Okay, guys, last cut here. I just wanted to show you guys quickly how to shoot the gap. Uh, I mean, I just want to show you guys one more cut back left. So I took, I added the other controller in just so I could show you guys it. So I'm going to set up the defense real quick here. Just move him down one step. With him. Now, I'm going to miss the gap on purpose. I'm just not even going to shoot it because I'm going to be on this controller. I want, to I want you guys to see when I cut back left here. And now, obviously, I was able to spin him, but I'm not clicked on there. So I want you guys to see that. All right, let's look at that now. Here we go. So now obviously I didn't make a clean cut or whatever, um, but I just wanted you guys to see, like, since you don't bring him down, he's got time. He comes down. If he goes middle, he's going to blow it up middle. Oh, he sees him cut back. He moves left. That's literally, like, why you don't move him down. If you move him down here, like, if you move him down to, like, right here, He's gonna run in here too fast and he's gonna get blocked. That's what I realized when I was moving him down to the gap. So you wanna move him just a step or not at all and let him make this play for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed, man. Really, really, really good defense for Wham. Hopefully if I play that guy again, I'm able to execute this defense well. And with that, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Peace.